everybody and welcome to a new weekend vlog! Ended the video and look what Disney have posted so, on their Instagram. Uh, yes, like you can see all of this in off on the floor. And Disney has just posted this on their Instagram. Wait, let's so kickstart your collection as we bring back some fan favourites. No, <laughs> so we were complaining about them being less unique. Like the good thing about the really old ones is once they're gone, they're gone. You can't get the New York Times Square one unless you spend like a thousand plus dollars because they discontinued it. But now you can get the Toy Story anniversary. So this Baby looks to Yoda. be all the 2021 ones re-releasing. Yeah. So to me that says they're, they have stock which they didn't sell, like lost stock. Yeah, some are spare. I mean? They n never sold out of them. They just stopped doing it at the end of the day. But eight pounds <sighs> each. Eight pound. We spent twenty quid so, on each of them. <laughs> so there you go, selling your keys to get a little bit of a profit. Mickey, Gone. Mickey goes for a Mickey lot. Mickey goes for a lot. If they re-release ones like that, people will be mad. They will. But we just finished this video, so don't forget to watch that. <laughs> yeah, we'll be out on Wednesday for you guys to see all of our Disney keys. But that's crazy. We have yeah. just been saying that. Freaky. <sighs> Like you know when you when you're talking about something or like you're looking at something and you get adverts of it and you're like, Oi, that's, that's just crazy. happened in real, real life. Yeah, they're listening to me. <laughs> we 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 were the advert for this. Like it's Yeah. <laughs> we were talking about it and they were like, Do you know this what? Is, I'm gonna post about that right like now. Matrix likes wait, something's not right here. <laughs> we are in the matrix. <laughs> But grumpy, they're gonna start releasing half of them again. Yeah, so I guess it's good for the ones that we missed. It's good for the but ones I don't that you think missed. We missed any of them other than the super yeah. recent ones. But it's more annoying that we spent twenty pound per key, and they're selling, gonna sell them for eight pounds. Eight to ten pounds, I think that's that thing said. So half price, which is well yeah. annoying. See, that's a good thing about America. As much as they have the boxes, and I don't like the boxes. For the most part, you just bought them, I believe. Yeah. Don't quote me on that, because I don't really know. But I, mean, I think that is the case over there. I mean, I guess we did get stuff. Like, we did buy actual things. We didn't just buy them for £20. Yeah, but... I mean, it's been good. Because we bought, you know, presents for our nieces and stuff. And the keys were free. Yeah. But so... still, we sometimes bought things we didn't particularly need. Yeah, see, that's the problem. Like, Disney UK releases, like five to ten new things at a time yeah like it's very limited limited and the stuff that don't sell is the stuff that is just always in stock everywhere yeah but tom's now got to put all these back in order on his pin board yeah. <laughs> guys we went in the attic today to get the waterproof camera out to make sure it still works so we brought the suitcase down <laughs> it's like 80 something days until we go on the cruise but we've brought our little suitcase down <laughs> We're a bit like early off the off the ball there, Tom. A little off bit. the mark, sorry. On well, the ball. It's, we wanted to make sure everything was working. We wanted to make sure the waterproof camera was working because I got scammed. Just got I got scammed. <laughs> You're I, such a silly. Luckily, the bank helped me get my money back. Um, but essentially I bought a GoPro off Facebook Marketplace and it turned out that it was a not real account and they were just getting everybody's money. Um, so yeah. I mean the red Sorry, price were kinda there. <laughs> like Ish, the but... price seemed, the price was real good but not, like f Facebook Marketplace sort of has that like some people sell stuff that they don't know. Yeah. Like I got that Boba Fett figure. For a really good price. For a really good price compared to what it sells for. But I'm just going to start buying things on Facebook Marketplace that I can drive to. Like I'm not going to yeah. do, it's because I did the buying from somewhere and there, like it's trusting them to post it. You did the but... silly of not going through PayPal as well. PayPal has yeah. its rules. If you buy anything <laughs> online that doesn't come off a shop 
do it through PayPal because they have their protection. That's what the yeah. bank told me. But yeah, I've got my money back and it's fine. It's like it never happened. Just be <laughs> careful, people. So we're seeing what this, because um, we think our waterproof water camera footage was okay in Blizzard Beach, so like it would be okay it, for yeah. the cruise. It's just it, our camera died. Like we never used it. It died like we got two minutes in. A tiny bit of footage from the water parks, and yeah, it just ran out of battery. So we wanted to get one that was slightly a bit more reliable and brand new so we wanted to get a gopro but they're all really expensive like we don't particularly have 300 pounds to spend on a waterproof camera that we're going to use for two days in florida yeah so we're seeing what this one's like and i think it was okay when we went i think it will do i'll put in a little bit of the footage from when we went to blizzard beach here and you guys let me know if you think that's okay and you'd be able to deal with that on a, on the cruise when we go on the two water slides oh yeah <laughs> That will do. It will be it'll just be okay. roll anyway. Yeah, it'll be okay. It'll just be me screaming going down the drop floor slide. I can't believe I missed the footage though. Because we filmed quite a bit going down slides and stuff. Yeah. Or we filmed like a good slide and that's Or we thought we were. We thought we were. <laughs> and we weren't. <laughs> but time for lunch. Time for lunch. Tom's got work in the evening again today. So we have got a lovely dinner <laughs> or lunch dinner. Of soup with Maltesers for dessert. <laughs> Maltesers. Oh, so I completely forgot to record my entire evening. <laughs> so it is now 10 to 10. <laughs> I have been writing blog posts. The one I'm currently doing is our top things for newbies to think about when going to Disney World for the first time. So it's all about tips and things that we have picked up from our first trip. Anything we can think of that we um kind of we're reading like on multiple sites but all in one place so yeah i am writing that up and then at half past seven it's friday night so of course me and olivia watched our film today it was this i pressed pause and it's on like the paramount intro so there's no picture but it's this love and monsters um that's the blurb there I'll give you a second to read that but essentially, it was about this guy played by the is it the same guy, the same guy as Percy Jackson. I think so. Let me double check that. No, not Percy Jackson. Not that guy. He is the guy from Maze Runner. He did um, the main character in Maze Runner. But yeah, it's him. And it's essentially about him. The world has become like an apocalypse. They shot something down, but they used so many rockets that all of the chemicals in the rockets has mutated all of the bugs and insects and creatures on Earth to like triple in size. So now it's almost like the bugs are the top of the food chain and humans are like tiny in comparison so yeah they have to survive but it was really good i liked it i didn't like think it i thought i thought it was going to be okay but i did enjoy it it kept me hooked and yeah i don't know the storyline was all right as well it wasn't too like lovey-dovey and it wasn't too predictable and it wasn't too like there was no way you well you could predict it because obviously you knew essentially what was going to happen but there was no way you could know exactly what was going to happen in the middle. So yeah, I liked it. It was alright. It was not one that I could watch again straight away. Like, I wouldn't say, oh my god, that was amazing. Like, you have to watch that right now. But if you just fancy something a bit action-y, but not too action-y, it's on the same sort of level as Percy Jackson. So yeah, if you fancy something like that, Love and Monsters on Netflix, I'd give that one a go. <laughs> noisy because of the park <laughs> behind the scenes of Darcy's little bunting shop exciting you go find her on Facebook and buy some bunting it's really nice it's what's in the background of all of our sit down videos but good morning everybody I realized when I was in Darcy's I hadn't said good morning yet it's Saturday today and I bought Tom to work went to the shop and got some milk and 
stuff and then I saw Darcy's mum and dad on my walk back up and they said Darcy's at home so I just nipped in and said hello and she's busy getting herself ready for a market tomorrow which will be super fun um, I'm excited to see her stall but I'm gonna put the camera away because it's a little breezy and you probably can't hear me because of the road oh oh hello hello <laughs> it's Saturday night fajitas fajitas woohoo we haven't had fajitas in a while to be honest no but with our fajitas, we're going to watch Oliver and Company, and I don't think I've ever watched this. Like, these few middle ones, like the next one after this is Little Mermaid, and I think I've seen every film after that. But I've watched this one for sure. I don't think I've watched this one. I think I've watched this one. I think it's got some good music in it though, so. Boy. I'm excited. A feisty young cat explores New York in this animated spin on Oliver Twist. <laughs> This, I'm guessing that's what they did at this point. They just like did spins on classic stories. Yeah, because obviously, last one was that we just watched was Sherlock Holmes. Yeah, but yum yum, let's eat din din. Hungry. Hungry. Yum yum yum. Mm -hmm. Yum 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 yum. So as you can tell, I've now washed my hair, I've had a shower, and Tom is currently in the bath. So yeah, that is basically our Saturday evening now. <laughs> we watched Oliver and Company. I'd never seen it before, but I loved it. I, I had a shower in the middle, I must admit, so I did pause and have a shower because my hair takes ages to dry. Um, but I got straight back into it afterwards, and yeah, I really enjoyed the storyline. I... If I didn't watch it, if I watched it without knowing it was based on Oliver Twist, I wouldn't have guessed it was on Oliver Twist. But I enjoyed it either way and the songs were so good. It was so 90s, even though it came out in 88, it was so 90s, I love it. Anything that kind of 90s is definitely a bit of me. <laughs> um, but I have decided, guys, I have written two full blog posts now. One of them, of all the films I want to watch this year, which is an ongoing blog post, I will keep adding to that one. And I've done 20 tips for Walt Disney World. And yeah, I think, I think I'm gonna put it out now. <laughs> I'm gonna write another one and that will be going out soon. I need to start thinking of like a schedule and like, I need to start writing some blog posts like in general. But yeah, I think I'm gonna put it out. <laughs> uh, I think I will put it on Instagram tomorrow, being Sunday, and I'll put it in the description of this video. So yeah, um, it's got dot Wix site in it because I built it on a website builder called Wix, and I'm not gonna pay for it just yet. I'm gonna see how I go, and if I continue with it and I do it and I enjoy writing the posts like on a long-term basis, then I'll keep it going. But <laughs> yeah. But times <laughs> it's weird thinking that I now have a blog like I I never was a person who was like the writer like I always enjoyed writing and I always like loved writing stories or writing reviews of things or just telling people about my time of things but if anything in any sort of job situation or any like college situation where somebody had to write something it would never have been me like my language and grammar skills aren't that high so i think a blog would be great because i write how i talk and i'm it's like i'm talking to you guys but writing instead of literally talking so yeah and i think all of my posts are going to be based on video so all of them will have like links to videos that i've done in them and yeah <laughs> uh, I just think it's gonna be good. Fingers crossed I can do it. I think as soon as I am like up to date, when I make a video, I'll write the post about it and it will go out at a similar time so it won't be too bad. But once I've got to the point, I think I'm gonna do one blog post a week. So we do three videos a week. <laughs> um, and then I think one blog post a week. So yeah, <laughs> I'm excited to see how it goes. And I'm excited to see if I can keep it up. And I'm excited to see how many of you have a look but if you have any comments about it do feel free to tell me i love getting comments and bits 
to improve so yeah definitely let me know what you think and yeah i'm excited <laughs> so here is a quick look at it on desktop so I've got a like header here, which I'm going to make this my YouTube um, cover art because I quite like it. Uh, and I think it sums us up well. Like, I like to read. We like to travel. Disney World, home. Uh, Disney World, home. And Universal, Harry Potter. So, yeah, I like it. And then at the top, we've got some like, title menus. So travel, Disney, film and TV, and life and home. And then when you scroll down, you've got the most recent posts. So there's my two that I have written. And then some links to some pages where you'll find like specific posts. So obviously when we get more, um, this will be not on here because it will be the four most recent posts. And you'll have to go into At The Movies to read what films I'm excited to see. And you'll have to go into Disney to read like my top tips of Disney. So yeah. And that's it. And then we've got my Instagram as a like slider here. So my top, my four most recent pictures. And then just a little bit about us, which goes to a about us page. So yeah. Sometimes look at our first ever picture. Aren't we cute? <laughs> Good morning, everybody. So I left a French braid in overnight last night and now my hair's like super poof. <laughs> it's just a bit I like the waves it's just a bit crazy poof at the bottom <laughs> mm. but Tom is brushing his teeth I've just brushed mine but we're going to go to the car boot it's Sunday our town always does a cattle market or a car boot on a Sunday so we're going to go down to there because we're going to go to my mum and dad's for Sunday lunch so we're going to go on the way but we'll see if there's anything cool sometimes you find some hidden gems at car boots and sometimes it's nice just to go out and have a walk so yeah, that's what we're doing today. It's lovely and sunny. Completely blue sky. So we'll go check out the car boot and maybe top up our tan a little bit and get rid of my Fitbit tan line. <laughs> it's deserted. I don't think, I don't, there's a cattle market. I don't think the car boot or anything's on. Sometimes they do have market stores because I'm pretty sure when I worked at the cafe there was a bunch of stores on like the other side bit maybe you just can't go this way i've never known it to be like i would assume because of everything going something. on maybe it's because it's everything. not going to be open like there's no way you're going to be able to get stuff from your house or whatever they do i guess so cattle market makes a <laughs> bit more sense obviously because that's like farm stuff i thought it was going to be like small shops and stuff you're crazy never <laughs> came back because we saw the car boot like there's a market like on the other side of this building so we came back to this car park because it's free and not very busy so back in the day you'd park in here it'd be full and you'd come through here like you'd walk through here you'd pay a pound for your parking and all of this would be car boot and then you'd have sheeps in there and then you'd go through to the other side to what we're doing now but yeah tom's having a toy story day today he's got his toy story t-shirt on his bag socks and shoes here we go, car boot. You've been car booting ages. I know, wear your face mask at all times. I ain't got one. Nobody's wearing a mask. Never mind. <laughs> I think that's an old sign. Yeah. But oh, don't need dog food. Yeah. And just like that, we're back in the car. Yeah. <laughs> it was starting to shut down, as in like closes. Everyone was packing up going home yeah um but it was nice to just have a little look around and do something that's like semi-normal yeah i mean it wasn't like we didn't really do anything we just kind of walked in and walked out really we walked in zigzagged a little bit went all some star wars stuff because there's always star wars stuff Not we saw a tiny mini e uh, mickey espresso cup <laughs> little diddy um but yeah apart from that there wasn't really anything so obviously we didn't buy anything and it was mainly like people selling things like their clothes and stuff which i still would be a little bit like don't want to buy your clothes just yet yeah um so yeah but, <laughs> yeah but we were saying it would be nice to go and like in the summer holidays when there is more stalls and like it's been a little bit longer if that makes sense like yeah. out of the pandemic well we're not even out of the pandemic but you know what i mean yeah 
Um, but yeah, so we're going to go to my mum and dad's now and we'll have Sunday dinner and yeah. So mum's going to ask me if I want to go bingo with her and I still can't decide. There we go. But anyway, let's get going. Sunday lunch. Yum, yum, yum. Oh, it's a warm evening. <laughs> but I have just gone back from bingo with my mum. Didn't win anything again this week, but i am only got two more weeks that I can go. That's why I keep going. Um, because I go back to work and my regular shift is like all day on a Sunday. So I don't get to go that often. So I'm going to go and do that with her for the next couple of weeks before I go back to work. Um, but yeah, it's been a nice evening, but it's really warm now. <laughs> well, it's not as warm as it has been, is it? Mm. But I think it's just stuffy this evening. Um, but yeah, we're going to end the video now because it is obviously Sunday evening, tomorrow is Monday. But all we're going to do this evening is just catch up on E3 um, announcements, which is like a gaming conference thing where they announce a bunch of new um, gaming stuff. So either content to games you already knew was coming out or new games. But yeah, we're just going to see what's coming with 2021, 2022 and beyond. But yeah, thank you so much for watching this video. Sorry it hasn't been too much, but um, we've just had a nice chill weekend. Ready for some adventures in the forthcoming weeks. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, but we will see you in the next video. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to give it a big thumbs up if you did enjoy. And comment down below how you guys are doing, what you've done this weekend, and what you have planned for the rest of the month until the summer holidays. But yeah, thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you in the next one. Bye!